Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black C and I have another video for you guys. Today I want to take a look at Bitcoin because guys, we had a very, very big move last night. Bitcoin broke above $45,000. The real question is, will we hold? Let's hop into this video. So guys, right now Bitcoin is trading just barely below 45000 at $44,812.44, up about 2.55% on the day. Bitcoin dominance level increasing. 51.01% when you exclude stable coins trading at about 53.01%, just barely above 53%. Seeing some of these altcoins sell off a little bit and that liquidity is moving into Bitcoin. Solana yesterday, it broke up to $118, guys, and now we're back down to 107 things are trading sideways. I want to take a little bit of a look at Solana because I hold a significant position on it. I did take a little bit of profit off the table, but I am thinking that we're probably going to see a continuation from here and make a test at the previous highs before we decide to maybe cool off a little bit. I do think that uh, we probably will see continuation here, guys, especially maybe a bounce off of the $122 price level. We're trying to test that level. But I do think that we're going to get a breakout and a retest and a resumption off here, especially with the Bitcoin spot ETF news coming out in eight days at the most, guys. Eight days at the most. Bitcoin is trading relatively well. I mean, look at that little tiny, tiny wick breaking above 45,000. We need to see that continuation. When you see a candle body close above that for me to be flipping really, really bullish right here. Uh, because I have been leaning into the idea here that we, we need to cool off a little bit. Cool off a little bit leading into the halving. And the halving's a couple months away in April. I think we need a little bit of a cool off. But that being said, today Jim Cramer from CNB, CNBC News was talking up a big talk about how Bitcoin is here to stay. But then he was also talking about how the Bitcoin spot ETF will be a sell the news event. Which... He's very, there's a, a meme and a joke that's about how you inverse trade Jim Cramer. But that being said, he did kind of tote the line pretty well. He talked about how Bitcoin is here to stay, which is very, very bullish for him to say. Then he also said that uh, the Bitcoin spy TF approval will be a sell the news event. So let me know in the comment section below what you think, because uh, I was leaning into the idea that it'll be a sell the news event, but now that... Now that we're seeing these mainstream media talking heads talk about uh, how it's going to be a sell the news event, I think that it probably uh, has a good chance of breaking out and continuing to the upside. I know that sounds ridiculous after this massive, massive run we've had, but uh, I think that that is on the table for a breakout above 45,000. We could maybe even see uh, 55,000, 60,000 before the Bitcoin happening in, in April. It's only a few months away. I'm, le I'm leaning into the idea. But if I see a invalidation, if we get a breakdown below $42,000 on Bitcoin, around like 41005 if I see a candle close below that, then I'm going to be pivoting back to the idea that we're going to be coming down to about $38,000, $37,000 leading into the Bitcoin happening, and then we can really be off to the races in the later end of 2024, guys. But uh, be patient. There's a very, very pivotal moment happening here. Uh, please go follow me on Twitter at 333 Black Sea. I'm very, very active over there. I share some of my trades, like I shared how I took some profit on Solana. But that being said, I did take profit. It did continue to go up, but I'm still significantly in this position. Uh, it was not it was not my a majority of my bag. It was a decent percentage, but guys, I did get in around eight dollars. I have over a 10x significant gains. It's nice to take some profits here and there. Um, I do think that at some point here, we're going to need to see a little bit of a pullback. Um, the question is when and how high does Solana go? before we reach that point? How high does Bitcoin go before we get that pullback? Uh, is it really a sell the news event? Can we break above 45,000? I really would like to see some daily candle closes above 45,000 to see some continuation uh, into the halving. It will, it will really give us a better idea here of where we're headed in the first quarter of the year.
If we do break above 45,000, my next target would probably be around 48k. But I uh, I'm not liking to see this these wicks above. I would rather see some candle closes. We need to stay above 45,000 dollars. I don't want to see these little tests. Um, it's nice, but um, we want to see some daily candle closes above it. But guys, if you like this type of content, please like this video, subscribe to the channel right now. Also, like I said, please go follow me on Twitter at 333BlackC. Also, guys, check out some awesome referral links we have down below. We have a $4,100 sign-up bonus to Femex, $8,000 sign-up bonus to BitGet, lots of free money to take advantage of. That's all I got, guys. Be patient. The show is just getting started. That's all I got for you. Bye.